I, I'm, I'm willing to fight uh, again to, uh, uh, to Floyd Mayweather. Uh, if he's, he's, he's willing to come back in boxing. What did you think about the fight? What you, I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. I controlled the fight. He was missing. On Showtime pay-per-view, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao versus Adrian the Problem Ron. In a good fight, Tadako was more like a chess match. Adrian Bronner was the counter puncher, and Manny Pacquiao was the aggressive fighter. At the end of the day, I think Adrian Bronner was trying to counter punch too much and should have been a lead, should have been throwing more punches, should have been aggressive, more aggressive. Just like in my keys to the victory to, of the fight, I said whoever was going to be more aggressive was going to be the one to win. And Pacquiao was more aggressive. Adrian was trying to counter punch a little too much. And so doing that, his uh, punch output wasn't as much as normal. And Manny Pacquiao was like the old Manny Pacquiao throwing punches with punches. Kept throwing punches, stayed on him. And um, he got the victory. He even stunned um, Adrian Brown a couple of times. But at the end of the day, you know, Adrian Brown made the most money he ever made in a fight, in his fight. I mean, he felt like it was politics that was involved. There's the reason why he didn't win the fight. I mean, I think when he go home and he go look at the fight, I think he realized, okay, no, it wasn't politics. And, you know, it, it wasn't that, you know, they trying to get Mayweather and Pacquiao to fight in a rematch. It was, you know, it was just actually, he didn't win the fight. He didn't throw no punches. Uh, he was trying to kind of punch a little too much. And um, that actually cost him the fight. I think the speed of Manny Pacquiao kind of, uh, you know, caught uh, Bronner off guard. I don't think I don't think he thought that uh, Pacquiao was as fast as he, he still is at the age of 40. And um, I thought, you know, he would think that he was thinking that uh, maybe he'd be able to catch him, you know, in, in the middle of some of the punches. But you know, Pacquiao was crafty. He's a veteran, and you know, he's Pacquiao. He's fought some of the best fighters in the world. I mean, you think and as counterpunch, you think about counterpunching. I mean, I don't know no counterpuncher that was better than Juan Manuel Marquez, and he fought him what like four times. So that that, that experience alone prepared him in a fight against Adrian Bronner. He was prepared to be, you know, for a counterpuncher, and uh, you know he pulled out the victory. He fought a smart fight, um, and you know hats off to Adrian Bronner. You know he stood there. He shows he has a good chin. He took the punches that. Um, Pacquiao caught him with, made some devastating shots you know, a couple of times, and he hung in there, you know, he just wasn't as busy, I mean, you know, and, you know, like I say, he still did good, he was there, he fought a veteran, a legend, and there's really, really no shame on losing to uh, Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao was a beast, and, you know, he's an eight-time world champion for a reason, so there you have it, Manny Pacquiao gets the W, uh, and a good fight, you know. Tell me what you think. Uh, what do Adrian Brunner go from here? Who you want, who would you like to see? Um, Manny you're Pacquiao staying out fight of the ring, but we got a camera there. Are you going to accept that challenge? A simple nod will do on the monitor. Yes or no, Floyd?